Vietnamese is the national and official language in Vietnam. It is the mother tongue of King people and the first or second language of ethnic minorities in Vietnam. From the early 80s to the 10th century, as Vietnam was being ruled by Photochina, the Vietnamese culture and language were assimilated into Sinosphere. Fortunately, the language still retains its way of pronouncing words, but the Han characters were used and many loan words from Chinese were incorporated into Vietnamese. After Vietnam gained its autonomy, Han characters were still used by Vietnamese photo dynasties. However, Vietnamese people created two known or known as Southern character, formed and evolved from the 10th to the early 19th century to better reflect the spoken language. Many famous literature pieces were written in known characters. Nguyen Du and Ho Sun Hung were two of the most famous poets advocating for its use. The modern-day writing system, or Tự Quốc Ngữ, of Vietnamese, was codified by a French missionary named Alexandre de Rhodes for use in Christian peoples. The system only rise to dominance after the French colonized Vietnam and forced the people to use it. Although the people were initially obliged to use, they soon realized the benefits of the new system. The new system was much easier to write and read than both Han and Nome systems, and it is a huge contributor to the eradication of illiteracy in Vietnam in the 20th century. Since the appearance of internet in 1997, various social networks appeared for the purpose of entertainment and chatting. That was a time that teen code became widely used by many young Vietnamese internet users, especially between 2000 and 2005. The initial purpose for the invention of teen code is preventing adults from understanding messages. Because the rules are very loose, young people are free to write without wondering whether they are spelled properly or not. At the beginning, it was just the common way of writing on mall teenagers. However, as the popularity of teen code keeps growing rapidly, it started to appear in more formal circumstances, occasionally in education. In the long run, this will soon become a harmful habit. Vietnamese is not a simple language to learn. Even a full-grown adult can make a mistake in spelling. Hence, Overusing teen code may mislead a young generation to infusion in orthography of the first language itself. It is not hard to find foreign words in a Vietnamese conversation. Indeed, the language we are speaking every day is not pure Vietnamese. In fact, over 60% of which is originated from Chinese, more than 2,000 words are from French. This is a result of Vietnam's colonization starting in the past, in the form of colonization. In Vietnam history, the Chinese were acknowledged to have tried to assimilate Vietnamese people for more than a thousand years. Although China did not fully convert the people, the cultures and the most noticeable vocabularies were taken into our own national values. French domination is a term used to describe the phase in Vietnam history when Vietnam was placed under French control. During this period, French government sent many officials to rule various departments in Vietnam and carried out many constructions as well as developed business traits to be in relation to the metropolitan France. This close connection made French an essential language to be used in daily activities, as evident in many literatures published then, such as Soda. Besides not having the accurate Vietnamese translation for a foreign term, some people make excuses for the high frequency of using English in their daily life. Many pretend to accidentally forget Vietnamese and replace that word with an English one, as they regard it to be a trend of a modern lifestyle. Unfortunately, they have not been aware of the serious consequences lying behind. This can lead to a gradual decrease in their reflection to their own mother tongue. Moreover, many songs composed by Vietnamese artists consist of both Vietnamese and foreign lyrics. Although some foreign words can't be perfectly expressed in Vietnamese, the artist's propose of bringing more than one languages into their pieces is more likely to show off their foreign language skills rather than emphasizing a particular meaning. Vietnamese is a language rich in tunes and profound. Artists such as Chi Gong Sơn, Văn Cao, or modern singers like Phạm Quỳnh Anh composed songs in pure Vietnamese, but they still managed to be globally reputed and well received. In 2017, a suggested innovation in Vietnamese language has generated a huge reaction from the public. Professor Bui Hien's publication on reformed Vietnamese alphabet letters came in for a lot of criticism for its resemblance to the teen code style. Although he has explained the purpose was to make Vietnamese language faster and easier to write. Moreover, 
Very recently, a large number of people has expressed their disagreement on the new technique of teaching first graders how to spell, with application of many uncommon local words and even geometrical cubes. Vietnamese language is transforming every day alongside the development of the country and its people on the journey of globalization, a process that happens rapidly as we speak. The most important thing to keep in mind is to preserve and expand our precious language in accordance to our history and values, because the language represents its people and that nation's heritage, which sets us apart from all the many cultures in this world.